This is part five, and it will be the last um, part of the lecture on chapter two on chemistry. This is where we left off from the last one. Um, I didn't have time to start it, but enzymes. So an enzyme is a protein, first of all. Make sure you know that an enzyme is a protein. Sorry, my hands are shaking, I guess, but um, enzymes are proteins, and what they do is they speed up chemical reactions by lowering the activation energy of the reaction. So for every chemical reaction, there's a certain amount of energy that's needed in order for that reaction to occur, whether it's um, a, a catabolic or anabolic. It doesn't matter, breakdown or build up reaction or synthesis reaction, it doesn't matter. There's some amount of energy called activation energy that's required for that um, chemical reaction to actually occur. Um, so enzymes lower that energy. So if, if the reaction requires less energy, it, it goes faster, okay? So an enzyme has a shape called an active site that fits part of the substrate, the chemical that it's, the chemical or chemicals that it's um, reacting, that it's causing to speed up. The substrate is the reactant. It's the, it's the reactant in the chemical reaction. It's just another name for reactant. But um, the enzyme then will change shape and convert the substrate into the product. And then that same enzyme can be used over and over and over again repeatedly. So, and this is a, a graph to show you the activation energy without the enzyme for a particular chem chemical reaction. Actually, this is cellular respiration. I don't know if you remember, the reactants are glucose and oxygen, the products are carbon dioxide and water, um, plus ATP, that's not listed on here. But there's a certain amount of energy that it, cellular respiration requires without the enzyme and then with the enzyme it's lower so in other words with enzymes cellular respiration the rate of cellular respiration is faster all right um so an open system is one in which energy can be transferred between the system and its surroundings we people uh, any biological organisms are open systems. Closed systems would be like, um, you know, a bottle with a lid on it. It can't transfer energy to its surroundings. So if you have a quiz question that says, is a human being an open system or a closed system? You say open system. And if it asks you if a bacterium is an open system or closed system, the bacterium would be an open system. All organisms are open systems. Okay, and we have a little bit about thermodynamics, which is um, energy laws, changes in energy. So energy transformations involve uh, chemical energy converting to kinetic energy. So there's chemical energy in the food we eat that gives us energy to move and breathe. Um, and for plants, there's energy in sunlight that gives them um, the chemical energy to carry out photosynthesis and make their own food. So it's uh, the first law of thermodynamics, I'm sorry, the whole point of this page. The first law of thermodynamics says that energy may be transferred from place to place or transformed into a different form of energy but it can't be created or destroyed. So that what happens is this energy from this um, ice cream cone covered in sprinkles is gonna give, it's gonna um, go to give these little boys, um, they look like boys, give these little boys the energy to breathe and live and ride their bicycles. But some of it is gonna be given off as heat, but none of it will be destroyed, okay? So all the energy will be, um, you know, will still exist. It just might exist in a different form. And the second law of thermodynamics 
says that all energy transfers result in the loss of some usable energy. It states that every energy transfer increases entropy or randomness or disorder of the universe. So entropy is a word that means disorder. And even though living things are highly ordered and, may, and living things themselves maintain a state of low entropy, low disorder, the universe, the entropy is always increasing. The entropy of the universe is constantly increasing. Okay. All right, so we're at the end. The practice question, um, an internet commenter says, evolution violates the second law of thermodynamics. Is this statement correct and explain? So the second law of thermodynamics says that disorder increases in the universe. Evolution violates the second law. No, because evolution is dealing with organisms and the second law of thermodynamics does not say entropy increases in organisms. It says entropy increases in the universe. So I would say that statement is incorrect. Um, what are the building blocks of matter? We know they're, ele they're elements and individual elements are called atoms. What are the different types of atomic bonds? They're ionic in which electrons are transferred and covalent in which electrons are shared. And covalent bonds are the strongest bonds. We don't call hydrogen bonds, we don't call them atomic bonds because hydrogen bonds are um, bonds between um, molecules. But hydrogen bonds are weak bonds, you know, so they're, they're not as strong as either the ionic or the covalent. How are mo molecules categorized according to their functional group? Go back and review those functional groups. Um, hydroxyl, sulfhydryl, um, carbonyl, um, amino, just go back in uh, phosphate groups, um, just go back and review those. Um, the pH scale, remember seven is neutral, less than seven is acid, greater than seven is base. And that acids donate hydrogen ions to the solution that they're in, and bases remove hydrogen ions from the solution that they're in. Basic chemical reactions, just um, this is talking about reactants, knowing what reactants and products are, understanding what reversible reactions are, um, where they can go in either direction, and then make sure you understand what the terms anabolism and catabolism mean. Anabolism is the collection of chemical reactions that are synthesis reactions. They're, they're building larger molecules, taking smaller components and building larger molecules. Catabolism is the breakdown reaction, such as when we digest our food and break it down into smaller molecules. And we just did the first and second laws of thermodynamics. First law of thermodynamics, energy can't be created or destroyed. Second law of thermodynamics, the entropy of the universe is increasing. 